what do we have? Our next topic comes to us from Dan V. Hey, guys. So I know uh, the new Black Adam trailer got everyone's attention, but a new trailer for Picard season three also quietly came out and I don't see anyone talking about it. I thought it was great. I didn't think anything was going to be able to top strange new worlds as far as new Star Trek TV goes, but I think this looks like it has potential. Have you guys seen it? And what did you think about it? If you have. Thank you. Aw, thanks, Dan. And when the John's away, the R&B is going to talk Star Trek, baby. We're going to get into this. Yes, I'm going to let you just talk your little heart out. This is your thing. This is your soul. Oh, my gosh. Well, well, as everyone knows, I am not a, I do not like modern Star Trek. (laughs) First time hearing of this. I I know you have not. (laughs) um, Through certain universal cogs and wheels switched into place and i was afforded an opportunity let's call it to experience early Mm -hmm. star trek picard season three and you know no spoilers but it was a real turnaround from star trek picard to say that i dislike star trek picard seasons one and two is an understatement yeah star trek picard season three was entirely the design of showrunner terry metallis coming off of he, he did 12 Monkeys, which I really thought was great. Um, and it's a total turnaround. And I felt like I was watching real Star Trek, if in fact I was watching it. Whoa. You know, and it was, it was tremendous, terrific. And um, the trailer, I thought, was, was actually very effective. You know, the, it, it, there has, there's been this tendency with modern Star Trek to go very dark and brooding, mm-hmm. which is sort of the antithesis of Star Trek. This kind of looks like it's more of the same but there is, I mean, there's tremendous peril, but there is also joyful, buoyant Star Trek classic character interplay. Yeah, there's a lot of levity in this trailer, and I think a lot of that just comes from seeing these familiar faces. I I can say this. A half an hour into the first episode, Riker and Picard are working <laughs> together, and you get that old feeling, baby. You get that TNG feeling, yes. and Hooked you'll have a feel. smile on your face as they... Go off on uh, to solve a mystery. Oh, I love that. And Let's... it's um, <laughs> you. It's good you told him. He I could did talk tell about him. It. There was a pause, so I was going to fill it. I'm so sorry. Oh, uh, keep going. No, no, I. No, hit, that's all hit. I can say. But I like the trailer. <laughs> you know, a lot of people find the starship design controversial. It's a Bill Krause starship design. I quite like it. The Titan, the refit Titan A, mm-hmm. the original Titan that Sean Tarangio designed is canonical. It's you can see it in lower decks. Okay. That is also taken into consideration. But that's about, I probably shouldn't say anything. That's all you can say before they blow dart you? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Paramount's going to slap. <laughs> they're going to spank my bare bottom. Okay, Paramount. The one bun that's not in the grave, right? <laughs> the one bun that's not in the grave. That's right. Let's hear what IndieWire has to say about all this. Patrick Stewart brings Picard to screens for a third and final time on Paramount Plus series Star Trek Picard. Premiering February 16th, Picard debuts a new spaceship, like Rob was just talking about, the USS Titan, and brings the original Star Trek The Next Generation crew from the USS Enterprise D back together to save Dr. Beverly Crusher, Gates McFadden, Queen. The uh, teaser for season three launched during Paramount Plus's Star Trek Day on September 8th. The 10 episode season of Picard marks Stewart reprising his iconic role of Jean-Luc Picard after seven seasons on The Next Generation and two previous Picard seasons. LeVar Burton, Michael Dorn, Jonathan Frakes, uh, Marina Sirtis, Brent Spiner, Jerry Ryan, and Michelle Hurd also star. I got so excited seeing Crusher. I remember as a kid just being like, this doctor is the most incredible woman I have ever seen in my entire life. She's beautiful. She's smart. She was all kinds of goals for me. She is badass in this. Oh. And she's in a place that you wouldn't expect. Awesome. And she, yeah, she's doing something that's really cool when this opens. Oh, I'm so excited. Amy, I don't know if you're a trick person or not. We've never gotten to talk about this. Can I defer my time to... <laughs> did, you, did, you, did you like the trailer the trailer looked good i'm cool. i'm not a star trek person mm-hmm. I, right. it's one of those it's always it's always just felt like such an overwhelming thing to start <laughs> you know and right. genuinely it's, it's lot, just yeah. like you gotta you gotta like commit you gotta pick a series that's like the thing and then that's a whole series and then there's so many of so it's always just been a bit on my one of these days. And look what happened to Rob. He turned out perfectly. And fun. I don't yeah. want to be, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And I will say too, like Rob's such, he knows so much about Star Trek that when I came in one day and was like, I, I really have enjoyed Picard season one. The disappointment you had on your face for me, I felt on such a cellular level of like, oh no. And then when it was, 
yeah, Picard season two isn't really doing for it for me. And it was, yeah, you're right. It shouldn't be, Chris. It shouldn't be. So, I felt I felt validated. Chris, Chris, you should have came at it a different way. First, you ask what Rob thinks about whatever you're watching Star Trek. Mm. And then you agree with him. And then everything is I'm fine. Lie to my buddy. <laughs> Listen, I would like to point something out. I'll, I'll go, I'll be a contrarian to myself. Ooh. You know, there's a lot of people that are, are going to come to Star Trek for the very first time with the J.J. Abrams movies. Star Trek Discovery, Star Trek Picard, Star Trek Lower Deck, Star Trek Prodigy is going to be a whole new generation of people's first experience with the franchise. I'm sorry that that's the case, but it is the case. And I think you can't <laughs> criticize people for finding the franchise. I think one of the things about Star Trek is its core concepts have endured. It turned, the franchise turned 56 years old yesterday. It was Star Trek Day, the, the debut uh, in North America. Well, actually, on, in America was 19, uh, September 8, 1966, with the episode The Man Trap. Uh, even though that wasn't the first episode that it should have been. It should have been Where No Man Has Gone Before, but that was the third episode that aired. The Man Trap? The Man Trap. That was my nickname in college. That was go on. The yeah. Man Trap. Yep. Well, there you go. Yeah. But uh, That was my contribution to the conversation. I'm tapping back out. Good night, everybody. Hey. <laughs> it's, not what, it's not what you might think. It's actually a very... A very sad story, to be honest. Yeah, that has so was my time in college. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, Amy. We'll talk about football next. Wow. Oh, boy. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think anybody who's at all interested in Star Trek or who are like the next generation, you are going to love Star Trek Picard Season 3. Oh. Because if it can make a, a person like myself come back from the brink, like, you know, I no longer wanted it. Modern Star Trek makes me want to scoop my eyeballs out with a teaspoon. A one bun curmudgeon. Star no. Trek Picard season three didn't. Oh, well, no. thank goodness. Rob's Hazel's eyes are safe. Do you agree with him? Do you think this is going to be a great show? Did you like the trailer? Let us know your thoughts on this, the final season of Picard, in the comments down below. We want to take a moment and thank the sponsor of today's video, Storyblocks. Guys, I have been an enthusiastic fan and user of Storyblocks for years. I go to them whenever I'm in need of content creation assets like royalty-free music, video clips, or templates for my creative projects, ranging anywhere from little editorial videos to my very own full feature documentary. Storyblocks helps you bring your stories, videos, and projects to life without sacrifices due to time, budget, or access to resources. They have over 1 million different story assets, ranging from stock videos, audio and music, an in-browser video editor, and they feature pre-designed templates, animations, and outros. Storyblocks uses an affordable subscription model and their unlimited access plans offers, well, unlimited video and audio downloads rather than a costly pay-per-clip model. With Storyblocks, you'll be able to create more content and more importantly, better content, all while using a subscription plan that fits your budget, utilizing unlimited downloads of demand-driven and diverse content. So if you're interested in upping your content creation game, head over to W www.storyblocks.com slash campia and get started today. That's www.storyblocks.com slash campia.